last week on The Pulse. I just told him, I said, physically, you're, you're strong. But I said, now you're in a situation, now it becomes a mental grind. Deep down the middle, got him. Malcolm Kennedy, touchdown. It took offense. Yeah. It took special teams. Yeah. It took defense. Yeah. opportunity for you, for you, all right? First game on on national TV, it's all everybody's talking about. Opportunity for you to show who you are. A lot of people out here still don't believe you, all right? You make the decision, you show people who you are. The Aggies preparations for Saturday's game at Mississippi State are in full swing. The rehearsals are in earnest in hopes of a big time performance on the national stage. This team will for sure look the part because behind the scenes and off site, the equipment staff works diligently to outfit them with an alternative look. Cedric Abuehi, classic extra large one inch jaw S2 BDC. Yeah. We custom fit every helmet, so we want it to be the same helmet they wear on a daily basis. So we were just going through what we turned into the helmet company that produced all this for us. Um, we turned it into them, they sent it back to us like that, and we're just double checking the word, so. You just don't come up with these a couple weeks before the game. That process starts as early as January of the, of the year, and, and uh, you know, between helmets, shoes, pants, you know, a whole uniform, all that stuff has to be shipped in somewhere. And uh, yeah, we've been known to use our equipment guys' houses as, as uh, the address for those types of uniforms. Well, we've done it before, and of course, I got married this uh, this summer, and so uh, you know, I have a I have a new home and a new family. My whole family being there, helping you know, put decals on or helping with face masks and taking a helmet from one place to the other. And so the the two boys in general uh, really enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, we did everything at my house. Where's Kenny? There you go. Where should it go? On your head. Okay. Once we get started today, um, we're going to have like an assembly line. We're going to have four of our student managers each have a spot for different helmet decals that go on the uh, back of the helmets. And we're just going to pass the helmets along. That way it's all uniform and everything looks exactly the same. Deshaun Hall shaved all his dreads off. So he went down a size uh, in his helmet. He used to wear an extra large, now he's in a large. So we. You, you buy extras with backup, so you just in case this happens. These are the helmets that are done, and so we are going to put the plastic bags back on them, put them in the travel bags, so then tomorrow we can covertly get them on the truck without people knowing what we're doing. Kenny Hill. Oh, there you go. Back at bright but still shielded from the players, it's time to put finishing touches on the iced out uniform before sending them on the road to Mississippi. This is the trend in college football right now and it's, you know, it wasn't that way 15 years ago, um, you know, really 10 years ago, but the game has evolved to where this is an important thing uh, to the players and this is something, you know, it might catch the eye of some recruit somewhere in the nation and he's like you know he'll keep an eye on us from here on out and seeing some of the good things that we have going here at Texas A&M and that helps us to sell our program to those kids and it's important to the guys that are here on the team as well.
The Pulse, Texas A&M football is presented by AT&T, building you a better network. Right now we're just getting the locker room set up. Um, you know, the bags are packed, and we're now in Starkville. So we uh, took the the jerseys, are, the, the new jerseys are in the bag. We're unloading those right now, uh, putting all the cleats out, putting the pants out. Then we will, in the here in a little bit, we'll bust bust out the uh, the new helmets and uh, get it going from there. So now, uh, let's take the bags off. Just throw the um, the plastic bags back into the into the black bags, and we'll throw them away when we get home. You guys are all staying in. When the team gets here, have an air pump. Okay, I'll make sure you get an air pump for me. Walk around, make sure the fit's good. Any helmet, any kind of adjustments with the chin strap, air, whatever we need, be on top of it. Okay, guys. In the visiting locker room in Starkville, the equipment staff prepares for the uniform unveiling. A little over 20 miles away at the team hotel, the Aggies polish their game one last time. All right, here we go, here we go. All right, start off in early, early, early. You've heard us say it all week, tempo, tempo, tempo. I plan on rotating just about everybody here, okay? Okay, it's no secret, gang. We got stop and run, limited explosives, the keys to today's game on defense, make them kick field goals. And last week, old guys, you carried us. Carried us. Okay, young guys, you old us, right? You guys know what it's about. We need the old guys to still do what they did last week, keep carrying us. Young guys, we got to have it out of you this week. Everything is almost ready. All that's needed is one more energy jolt before taking the field. At Davis Wade Stadium, it's not at all difficult to find out when the fight starts. You just better be ready to answer the bell. Hill drops back, good protection, throws the ball, going deep, leaping, bringing down, and making a catch at the 29-yard line it will go. And a pass, and it's caught, and just like that, that's a touchdown, Texas A&M, that's Josh Riddles. Boy, a quick hitter out into the flat, and he broke the tackle, his one-on-one. -on -one. Had to beat one guy, and he did it, and that's a touchdown for the Aggies. Boy, scoring quickly here in Starkville. Hey, 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 what happened? What'd you hit? Hey, we're kidding you. Right, up, block it up. Get him on the All right, play fast as you play. They're in the hurry up. They hand off, and they'll get in. That's a touchdown. That's MSU. So they come right back at the Aggies and answer. and right up the middle, they'll score, and it's Robinson, and it's the second rushing touchdown of the game for the Bulldogs. They're gonna hand off, actually a keeper here by Prescott, stretches out, and the second effort got him in. They throw, touchdown. Low pass, but caught by Wilson, and they just went up 20. 
seven to seven before the extra point. They are building a margin here. That's going to be tough to overcome. The first half is in the books. The Aggies will have to turn the page and put mistakes and missed opportunities behind them. For the second straight week, they trail at the break. This segment of The Pulse, Texas A&M football, is brought to you by Bud Light, the perfect beer when you're up for whatever. Believe it, man. We can be ourselves. Hey, believe it. Does a comeback start with simply limiting your own mistakes? Yeah, I think it's uh, we, we, we didn't make plays, they did. Uh, we got to do what we do. We stopped ourselves on offense, you know, and, and uh, defensively, uh, you know, our third down percentage has, has not been very good. But we got to give ourselves a chance offensively, you know, instead of stopping ourselves, being able to move and score a touchdown. The Aggies are capable of coming back and winning this football game. They just have to take it one series at a time. Nice little seam, trips up as he crosses the 20 and falls down at about the 22-23 yard line. They'll bring pressure here, it's picked up. Prescott's pass nearly picked off and that might have been a score for Devontae Harris. 42 yard attempt and it is no good. Kenny Hill the throw on first down and a missed tackle as Seals Jones is free. Spins out of a tackle attempt at the 30 as well. Out of the empty set. Hill moving to his right, facing pressure, and drilled back at the 20. Prescott in trouble, and they finally get to him. It's Alonzo Williams who sacks him. Hill with a bullet throw, and it's up in the air and almost picked off. He threw it a little bit behind. Another run for Prescott. Pushes to the goal line, somehow got out of there and hit Pater. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Hill rolling out and open in the middle of the field is Holmes for a first down inside the 40 and cut down around the 36. Second and 10. Hill and that ball is pulled in. Oh, a touchdown. Speedy Noyle. A&M needed a second half comeback but would have to do it against a team that was playing perhaps its biggest home game in almost 30 years. The Bulldog program had waited a long time for this. They weren't going to let it slip away. And it's pulled in, breaking a tackle of Fred Brown to the house. Touchdown, Mississippi State. He will run right up the middle, and there's nobody. Prescott saw an opening. He could have driven a truck through that one. And they bring pressure, but a great pass by Hill, and Speedy Noyle hangs on for the touchdown. And now here's Hill going to the end zone, leaping and bringing it down. Another touchdown, Texas A&M. The Aggies had decked themselves out in ice, but in the end, they were knocked out cold. For the first time in 2014, this team faces defeat. <coughs> Questions? Kevin, how do you explain this one? What did you see was the biggest issue today? Uh, I think that uh, we were extremely inconsistent across the board. Um, uh, but uh, Mississippi State had a lot to do with that. I thought that, uh, you know, they, they took advantage of uh, the opportunities that they had. Like I said, you get, you get Mississippi State credit. I mean, they, they had a great plan. They did a nice <laughs> job. The players executed it. And uh, they, were, they were the better team today. Thanks. This segment of The Pulse, Texas A&M football, is brought to you by Pepsi. Now is what we make it. Grab a Pepsi and some friends and get out there and live it. It's time to live for now. The final score here today of 48 to 31. Let's go down to the locker room now. Coach Sumlin and Will Johnson. A little uncanny of the Aggies today. Some drops by the receiving core. Yeah, yeah. You know, we uh, we need to overcome that. You know, we, we had a bunch of guys playing that hadn't played, and in critical situations, that's going to happen this time of year. We got to have people step up and understand, uh, you know, the severity of the moment. And uh, you know, Malcolm Kennedy not being able to go. Um, 
uh, we, we missed his leadership a little bit, I think, today. Uh, but that's not an excuse. We, had, we got other guys on this team that uh, should, should fill that role. The Aggies' perfect season was derailed, but there's still plenty of football left. Step one to getting back on track is to not point the finger elsewhere. In situations like that, there's plenty of blame to go around, you know, from coaches, players, and, and uh, it, it starts with, uh, with me. And, and, you know, our message was real simple. Everybody needs to look in the mirror and figure out um, where you personally came up short today. You know, there, there weren't a whole lot of things uh, that were a lot different than the other weeks, the other five weeks, except that uh, um, basically they made plays and we didn't. Every loss is, is a little bit different, you know, whether it's a close loss, loss at the end of the game, or, or one that's you know, a blowout type loss. So um, I think where you start with is, you know, where your team is. You have to get things corrected, but you also have to have a feel for the psyche of your team. And uh, uh, the more mature the team is, the, you know, the more direct th that approach can be because, uh, you know, they can handle it. The SEC West is a gauntlet, and Coach Sumlin reminded the Aggies after the game A&M's presence in the division is one reason why. This program has come a ways in a short period of time, and. Uh, and I, I did say that, you know, we'd talk about uh, us being in, you know, the gauntlet that we're in. Well, we're part of that gauntlet, and uh, we're playing in big games. We got another big one this week, um, and yeah, we you know, we 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 still have aspirations and and a, a chance to get to Atlanta, just like everybody else, because you know we're playing in those games. I don't think uh, being back home could come at a better time. And, uh, you know, I think our guys are, are anxious to, to get back out on the field and, and uh, you know, and, and, and prove who they are. The test about this is we're true adversity now. Right? And adversity is going to reveal your character. Personally challenge yourself to get better. All right? It comes down to being on us, right? Uh, Tracy, let's get him down, all right? Hey, we got to keep competing, bro. Compete on three. One, two, three. Compete. Doing all the stuff that you believe in. Aggieland, we see it's top season. I do it for the fam, that's the reason. I'm a rune, I'm a blood, I'm bleeding.